we're going to demonstrate a geometric die head. For each different size thread and each different size bar, you get a, a specific chaser. Okay, so right now, this die head is set up to thread one inch, and I can go all the way up to inch and a half with it. So I've got chasers for inch, inch and a quarter, and inch and a half, my three most common threads. Um, unfortunately, they don't make these anymore, so getting chasers is, uh, is, is difficult. So luckily we found a company, we're not affiliated with them in any way, but it's called RSVB, RSVP Tooling in Illinois, and they made up these ones here that I'm using. So they're pricey, but they're worth it. This thing, uh, it's World War II technology, but I promise you it will thread 10 times faster than a CNC with single point. It's just on, off, threads are done, screw your nut on. So it's really, really fast, but you need to be careful setting it up because you can bugger it up. So it's uh, just to demonstrate, I guess, I'll start with changing a chaser. In order to change a chaser, we've got this release button here. We pull this button, that allows us to rotate and that disengages, there's a little, see if I can, there's a little ball bearing in here that catches this groove and when it's in this position we can uh, push the bearing back right but when uh, when we're ready to cut with it when we come back to this position that ball bearing is rigid it's blocked from going in so that chaser stays there and then when it comes time to engage it all we have to do is lock it in and then what happens is um, as this threads onto the bar, it'll only go so far until we've set the stop in our turret. And when our turret stops, this continues to screw its way up the bar until it reaches the point where it pulls on the lever, which disengages it, and then it pops off. And that happens pretty much in the same place every time. So we've got a couple of other things on here, too, that are interesting. We've got a roughing and fine setting. On the one inch thread, we'll only do the fine, but on a coarser thread where you're taking off more material, you'd want to do a roughing pass and then go back on and do a fine pass just to clean up that thread and probably make your chasers last a lot longer. And then another thing we have here, if you can see it, I'm not sure. Um, we've got a graduated dial, so when this thing is engaged and we actually do our, our first couple threads and we, we decide how tight we want our thread by adjusting these two um, set screws in or out and that will incrementally uh, increase or decrease uh, the depth of our thread. So I'm not going to get into too much more detail because to be honest with you I'm just learning this thing myself but there's really next to nothing on the internet about them so I figured why not make a video of it. So we're going to spin this around. And we've already turned the bar down to one inch, um, as well as put a start angle on it. So you don't want to go on to a square shoulder with these. They've got a bit of a tapered start, and you probably want to put a tapered start on your bar just to help it uh, get where it's going. I'll put these chasers away. But the next thing we have to do now is we have to adjust the turret so that the geometric will stop you know, probably three eighths short of the shoulder because this thing is going to screw itself off about a quarter of an inch, and uh, we don't want it to, to crash because we're we're threading up against the shoulder. So uh, I don't know if you can see when I do this, but basically what we're going to do is if you can see the face of that that die we are going to adjust it so that it will come into approximately there, right? What we want to do, we can't thread obviously all the way to the shoulder. We're gonna stay back about an eighth of an inch. That's just a bit of a safety margin. So what we're gonna do is actually set the turret to stop well before that, probably a quarter of an inch before we want it to actually disengage, which gives us an extra eighth of an inch just for insurance, okay? Um, 
there's no science to this. This is kind of a visual thing. So what I do, I get it in position, and then the first thing I have to do is see how close I am, right? So, okay, right now, right now, wait, there we go. First thing I have to do is see how close I am to where I want to stop. So right there, I'm probably, I'm really close already, but I'm gonna dial it back about an eighth of an inch. Actually, we're gonna go 50 thousandths of an inch first and see what happens. So what I'll do is I'll pull this all the way ahead and surely my jaws, uh, my chasers are crashing into the shoulder. So I'm gonna go another 50 thousandths. I'm gonna keep doing this until I can pull it ahead all the way to its stop and it stops that eighth of an inch from the shoulder. So right now we're stopping about a sixteenth of an inch from the shoulder. So go a little bit more. So right there, that should disengage, fingers crossed, one eighth of an inch short of the shoulder. Okay, so I usually thread, I'm sure these things can run at a fairly high rate of speed, but for how quick it is, I don't push my luck. So I run this thing about, probably thread at about 100 RPM. So I'll put my motor in low range, select 100 RPM, put it in, put a little bit of oil on the bar, engage and then feed it in. I go a little bit gentle just to protect those first couple teeth on the chaser until it actually bites and uh, grabs. So now it's threading, now it's pulling itself in. I'm just helping it along so that the turret doesn't lag behind and prematurely disengage the geometric. But you'll see the geometric stop, or the turret stop now. There we go, disengaged and we got a thread. So our thread stopped well short. Obviously I wasn't, uh, I wasn't bang on in my settings, but that's part of the game. But we're gonna, we're gonna put a nut on here just to check. All right. So how cool is that, right? That is the fastest way to thread a bar, bar none. 